That's me. My name is Boink. But to explain how I got here, I need to start back at the beginning. You see, I grew up in a monster world. It was a pretty average monsterhood. Scream parties, scare school, and when the time came, I put my baby fangs under my pillow so the fang fairy would take them and leave me some really cool slime. But one day, I peeked through the closet door into the human world. It was really cool. My new human friends even let me stay with them as long as I liked. Nowadays, I spend my time making videos and being silly with my human friends. Hello everybody! Welcome to the Boink Show! I'm your host, Boink, and these are my friends, Caitlin and Avery? Where'd you go, Avery? Avery, get back here. You're being silly, you know that? No. Well, I... that's okay, actually. Silly fits right in here. In fact, we have a really silly special guest today I'm really excited about. Avery's feet. Just kidding. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Avery, keep your feet on the ground. I don't want to smell those stinky feet over here. Okay, we've got a very special guest all the way from where, Caitlin? Can you tell the audience? Sesame Street. Sesame Street! Welcome to today's special guest, Grover! Yeah. Did, did we forget to did we forget to call him and tell him to be on the show today? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> ah! Oh, he made it! Hi, Grover. Hello. How are you? Uh, good. Uh, thanks for coming on the show today. Uh, uh, we got some questions for you if you don't mind answering a few questions. Oh, sure, no problem. I love questions because an inquisitive mind is a very beautiful mind. Whoa, that's that's deep, Grover. Okay, well. Caitlin, do you want to ask him his first question? Or Avery? Yes. I think, no, I want to ask. Okay. Um, go, go ahead. You can ask me anything you want. Um, oh, that's good. That's how good. do you get to Sesame Street? How, oh, that's a very popular question. How do you get to Sesame Street? Yeah, yeah, how do you get to Sesame Street? I've always wondered that. Well, actually, Sesame Street, it's its no big secret, really. It's, it's in New York City. New York City? Wow, Caitlin, do you know where New York City is? Yeah, yeah, it's out there on the East Coast, right? Mm -hmm. Avery, do you did you know New York City? You ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. Statue of Liberty, all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in New York City, but I can't tell you exactly where the street is. I, I I don't know the street number, sadly. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably okay. We don't we don't need to send everybody and to you, Sesame Street. You live but there. Really? Oh, yes, I live there. Yes, yes. You should come visit me sometime, Avery. But you know, uh, Sesame Street is more than just a location. Oh yeah, really? Yes, Sesame Street is an ideal. It's a place where we can learn new things and make friends and, and well, it's just a wonderful neighborhood. Oh, I agree. I've seen the show, Grover. You do a great job and all your friends are fantastic. Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, do we have another question for him? Anybody else got another question for Grover? Uh, Grover, I, I actually have a question. Do you mind if I ask a question, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to know who's your favorite fictional character? And you don't have to say me, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have a favorite fictional character. Does anybody know Yoda from Star Wars? Yeah, yeah he's my favorite. I do not like him. Oh, don't be sad, don't be sad. Oh, oh okay, all right, I won't. You're my, you're my second favorite fictional character. Yeah, thanks. Avery, where are you going? Oh, wait, Avery's got something. Avery, what have you got? What is that? It's a pillow, it looks like a pillow. Oh, turn it around so the audience can see it. That's wonderful. I love that pillow. It's Yoda. Yoda. Oh, I love Yoda. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool fictional character. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, any other questions that we have for him, Rover? Uh, yeah. Ask a ask a question if you want to. Where'd all the girls go? There, uh, there's Keaton. <laughs> Avery, you've got a Darth Vader one. I'd, he's spooky. Yeah, Darth Vader is a bad guy. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Hi. What's your favorite thing to do on Sesame Street? Oh, my favorite thing to do on Sesame Street? Yeah, I, I'd like to know that too. Uh, I love to, to read books with my friends and learn new words. New words? Well, we have a segment on this show called Word of the Day. <laughs> All right, should we do a Word of the Day with Grover? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I'd, I'd like that very much. Okay, uh, Word of the Day is Privilege. Do you know what privilege means, Caitlin? No. Privilege? Do you ever have any privileges here at home? 
that you could think of? Do you know what a privilege is? A privilege is a right, an immunity, or a benefit that you have. Yeah, so you have some sort of right. Do you, do you have any privileges like get to stay up really late or have ice cream? Mm -hmm. That's a privilege, yeah. yeah. Yes. Sometimes people don't get that stuff. So privileges, you know, they can belong to certain people and not to others, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's another privilege? I get to go to the zoo? That's a privilege, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Privilege is, is an important word to understand because it means sometimes you get something that not everybody else has. And so we have to be aware of and grateful for all our privileges, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Good, good lesson. I like that. Well, another thing we have the privilege of is having a wor word of the day and a joke of the day. Oh, I love jokes. Can I tell the joke of the day? Oh, yes, I want to hear a joke. Avery, do you have a joke too? Or do you want to listen? Come on over here. Yeah, come on over. All right, what is the joke of the day, Caitlin? Why can't you trust a ladder? I don't know. Why can't you trust a ladder? Because it's always up to something. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. Oh, I like that one. Oh, very good. I love it. All right, well, that's our show for today. Thanks, Grover, for coming on. Oh, no problem. Anytime you want me back, I'll be here. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.